Welcome to this tutorial. This is just an urgent one from some of my students. So don't mind this um, Ashoke material. It's for 7 inches. That's what I'll be using. You can use the straight one as we bought it like that. So I'm just using this as a tutorial. I just joined mine so that I can make it up because these just pieces. So I just needed to join it just for you to see this tutorial on how to make this these tips on how to make the design you just saw so i hope you are following you can see where i started doing my running stitch so i'll keep doing the running stitch from this side as well So I've gotten to this area. This is just like 25 inches. When it gets to the place that is up to 25 inches, so the remaining 22 inches, you will use it to form another design. Just watch and see. You need to follow this tutorial to the end so you can see exactly the way this design was formed because this design is very, you know, like, only tactical or it's somehow difficult, but it's not that difficult. If you follow through, you really get what I'm doing. So you can see the one I'm just arranging this area just for it to be very okay. If you buy a new Ashoka, it will look rough like this. I just packed this somewhere, that's why it's looking this way. It's just for me to show you how this design can be actually made. So, can you see the remaining 22 inches that is remaining? Just watch the way I'm just going to fold it. I'll fold it this way. I'm just trying to determine the place that is the front and the back. So, see the way I just folded it so after folding it this way I will still need to fold again this way carefully fold it and make sure that they are in equal parts hope you are following so I'll pass my needle and thread through so I'm just trying to arrange it very well to make sure it is equal, it needs to be equal so that you get what you are really doing. So I'll pass it through this way. So I'll keep arranging it to make sure it is equal as I continue sewing this way. I'm actually continuing with the running stitch. There are still more to this design. You just need to watch to the end in order for you to get exactly how this design was made. You can see the way I'm just doing a running stitch. After this running stitch, there is another tip you need to know just follow through i just need to bring out this because the thing started hanging so continue with your running stitch and just be careful and be sure you are putting this together and making it equal as you are doing this running stitch so you keep doing this running stitch Make sure it is equal. So when it gets to this end, you drag it just the way you dragged the first badge before this other one. So you need to drag as well and you arrange properly, then you flip it to the side. You can see this one is now 
like under this design. So when you get to this area, you sew it this way. Make sure it is equal as well. So you just need to keep sewing it, keep tacking it. This time it is not a running stitch again. You're just trying to make it join together with this other one. So you keep tacking. You just need to be careful so that the thread won't hang somewhere. So you do this until you get to this end. Make sure you arrange properly as you are doing that. So you arrange it very well. Make sure it is properly arranged. And once you are done, you just need to tie it up. So you tie up and cut out with your scissor or razor, whichever one that is close to you. So it was my razor I found close. So this is it. So you arrange it properly. I think if you are using a new material, this design will be better off. So this is just it, just for you to arrange it properly and you place it on top of your Alice band. It could be padded Alice band or any one. Alice, um, padded Alice band can be bought from the market as well. Or you can do it yourself. Thanks for watching.